It's February 2021 in Texas. Temperatures plunge, the power grid fails, and millions of people lose electricity during freezing weather. At least 246 people died. Now the organization that monitors America's power grids is warning that AI data centers are creating conditions where events like that could happen again and in more places. I'm Sarah Gibson, a college professor and an AI strategist, and I help people put AI into action. The North American Electric Reliability Corporation just released its winter assessment, and it references the Texas situation as the kind of event we need to prepare for. During extreme cold that can last for days, actual electricity demand can exceed forecasts by as much as 25%. The grid can fail. But here's what's different now compared to 2021. Electricity demand has grown by 20 gigawatts since just last winter, driven largely by AI data centers. These aren't normal electricity users. Data centers run 24-7, with no off-peak hours, changing how the grid operates. The organization flagged specific regions as vulnerable, the Northeast and the Northwest U.S., Tennessee, South Carolina, Texas again, and Oklahoma. These are areas where prolonged severe cold combined with new baselines of constant data center demand could push the grid past its limits. The grid in those areas relies on single fuel gas-fired generators that often loses power during cold snaps. Natural gas is essential for winter power generation, but its supply can be interrupted during very cold weather when it is needed the most. Add massive constant demand from data centers and you have a recipe for failure. The 2021 Texas situation wasn't a freak accident. It was a stress test that the grid failed and now we're adding massive new sources of stress, AI infrastructure, without upgrading the grid to handle it. Companies like OpenAI, Oracle, Google, and Amazon are racing to build more data centers right now. Each one increases the baseline demand. Each one makes the grid more vulnerable during extreme weather. And we're doing this while knowing exactly what happens when the grid fails during winter. The question isn't whether extreme cold will happen again. It will. The question is whether we're building AI infrastructure responsibly with the power generation to support it, or whether we're setting ourselves up for more devastating losses of power in more places affecting more people. If you care about responsible AI that doesn't put people at risk, subscribe for more insights.